the sun is yellow. Hello and welcome to the third training video for the VUMA Reading Instruction Program. In this video, we will look at some ways in which you can prepare your learners for the English First Additional Language Reading Program. There are three easy practices to help you manage your reading program. Firstly, group your learners according to their reading ability. Then, assign group leaders to help during reading periods. And follow a reading cycle to rotate group activities from one reading period to the next. Using these three practices will help you to manage your class effectively, actively engage each learner for the whole reading period, and make your job a lot easier and more rewarding. Let's look at how to group learners according to their reading ability. Grouping learners according to their reading ability benefits the learner and the teacher. This makes for better classroom management. Use the reading assessment results of the learners to divide them into groups. After each term assessment, review your reading groups and make adjustments. For these reading lessons, we distinguish between two types of ability groups. One is the same ability groups and the other mixed ability groups. With mixed ability groups, learners with different reading abilities are placed in the same group or pair. Mixed ability groups are useful because weaker readers can learn from and be helped by stronger readers. Mixed ability grouping is useful for paired reading. On the other hand, same ability groups work best for group guided reading. We therefore place learners with similar reading abilities into a same ability reading group. With same ability groups, you can choose a book that matches the reading level of all the learners in the group. Each group can thus progress at a pace that is comfortable for that group. Stronger readers also do not become bored or frustrated because of slower readers or because the book that they are reading is too easy. Learners who have difficulty reading can also receive added support and progress at a slower pace. To summarize, mixed ability groups are beneficial for paired reading, whereas same ability groups are best for group guided reading. The second aspect that we will look at is to assign group leaders to help during reading periods. Each reading group must have a group leader. It helps learners become more independent and responsible. The task of each group leader is to help his or her group settle down and start working in an orderly way. And it frees up your time to teach. Make a special badge or tag for group leaders to wear during the lesson. At the start of the year, show the class what being a group leader entails. It's important to give each learner a turn to be the group's leader. The job of the group leader is to hand out the readers or workbooks at the beginning of the lesson. They must also ensure that fellow learners do not disturb the teacher while she does group guided reading with another group. At the end of the reading session, the group leaders collect the readers and workbooks and place them neatly in the reading corner. In the third and last step, we look at how to rotate group activities during a reading cycle. Your reading lessons should follow a set cycle. If you follow this cycle strictly, your learners should be used to it within six weeks. They will use the same reading cycle from grade 1 to grade 3. We recommend that you have five reading groups. Assign a different activity for each group during every reading lesson. The groups rotate their activities from one lesson to the next. The activities always follow the same order. A group will first do group guided reading. 
During the second reading lesson, that group will do worksheet one of the workbook. Paired reading is the third lesson of the cycle. During the fourth lesson, the group does worksheet two and worksheet three is completed during the fifth lesson. Can you see why we recommend five reading groups? Each group will be busy with a different part of the reading cycle. The steps for the VUMA approach are Group your learners according to their reading ability. Assign group leaders to help during reading periods. Rotate group activities from one lesson to the next. It may take a bit of effort initially, but learners will soon get used to the reading cycle. Your learners will know what to do during each period and are likely to settle down and start working quickly. Your group leaders will know what to do and keep the reading corner neat. And you will have more time to concentrate on teaching in an orderly classroom. <music>